Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... I'm still here in the Cadinger Sanctum. At least this time I'm onto something. I'm sure of it. It uh, seems I actually had to start the level over in order to uh, continue exploring because it doesn't save uh, checkpoints on mission select mode. Which I suppose I should be appreciative of, but still. Um, I did find this. I have a feeling I should be able to... Yes! <laughs> this door was closed. When I got here the first time. Actually, I think I still have the footage clip for that. Okay, so that's the blue door over there. And here are some rocks which very clearly go somewhere. Shit. But, uh, the level lead... This is, uh... Well, somewhere around here is that big splattered corpse that may be a giant brain, or it might be a horribly mutilated mancubus, or whatever. Uh... Yeah, that there is the blue key door. And this area leads you back here when you teleport back over in order to get the blue key. And as soon as you pick it up, you hear the, or the door behind you opening. But I had a hunch. If this if the game level brought me back here, maybe this door opened too. Oh. And I guess I won't be accepting this right now, but uh, let's at least take a look. Kill imps of a super shotgun to allow movement for four seconds. Imps may be killed or spared at your discretion. Reach the altar before time expires. Okay, yeah, can we kill imps to get four seconds of movement time, and you only have five seconds. I don't want that! Why would I want to perform glory kills faster? You're invulnerable while you're performing glory kills. I mean, the animations are rad! I mean, I might try to get that one, but I would absolutely never equip it. I mean, if you master that rune, does the demon just drop dead on the spot and it immediately... You walk up, you hit F, and the demon drops dead without an animation, and then it just drops a bunch of health. Yeah, whatever this hot mess is, that's what I was talking about. Actually, I should probably go towards the blue door, since I just got that key. Derp. Not great for ammo. Oh, okay. Red. Nice. Yeah, that was dumb, but I wanted to see if I could just do heavy damage up close. The poor boy didn't know which way he was facing! Hell. That seemed like a good investment, <clears throat> given that I was almost dead, and now I am not. Oh, wait. Huh. And again. 
Being hit in midair from behind makes you stop all forward momentum. Okay! There you are. You fucker. Oh, you're somewhere. I don't know where I am. But I see a teleport behind a chained up door, just over there, behind that guy I'm blowing up. I have hope. Uh, that was not the right place to be standing. Hey, I didn't die. I thought that was a death fall. Great! Mmm! Tasty! I mean, I already did that, but you don't really need to... Great job, big guy. On your knees! Oh! Me too! Oh, so I am out. I guess you get the better of me this time. Now then, hey, there's a big guy. Go long! That never gets old. Not to me, anyway. You know what? There you go, honorable Sapuku. And I no longer have to run out of ammo. Oh, yes. Hmm. But what of the teleport? Okay, that's good. How do I get in there? God damn you! I touched that one, that one counts. It even marks it off here. I just wanted to see if the door was on the other side of uh, another area of the map. Oh, that's why you couldn't open it earlier. There was all this debris on the side. Arg. Well, this looks important. Oh, this is a, an actual rest of the level kind of thing. I found all the thingies, but I still need to get in there. And there's still a... I think there's a... Probably a collectible or two in here somewhere. Ah, why is everything so complicated? Oh, there is fuel over there. That's very convenient. I cannot run up the chains. This is not that kind of game. Ooh, glowing viscera. Fine, fine, you win. Familiar. Praise upon the weak, for he alone was the Hellwalker, the unchained predator who sought retribution in all quarters, dark and light, fire and ice, in the beginning and the end. And he hunted the slaves of doom with barbarous cruelty, for he passed through the divide as none but demon had 
Okay, what if I teleport back? And I'm just obsessed with figuring out what the triggers for all this shit are. Where's that door? I don't need that anymore. Oh, clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay, so this is the arena where I fought the uh, the barons of hell. Oh, oh no. That would have been very embarrassing. And I am just scouring every corner of the world with my... Good God. Extensive sleuthing skills. Yeah, right. You try and find goods and services. It's very dark in here, but when I move close to stuff, I can see it. Oh my god, really? <laughs> uh, a body wearing this helmet with an arrow in the knee. I don't think I need to explain this one, you guys. The fuck? Oh, fuck me! I just sort of ran in here impatiently because it's like, oh, there's nothing there. Whew. Where the fuck is the door? I mean, there's barely a lot of wall around here. Hello? There's a little bit slopping through the blood over here. Oh. Yeah, that would do it. Slough of Despair. Hmm. Nice. What do you do? This is at the plasma rifle you still look like, boys and girls. Golly, it's bright in here. It's funny, I actually remember seeing the arrow, now that I look at the map. I think there was even a moment where I must have just stood right here and gone, Huh! I wonder what that's about! Like a Cretan. There's still more to acquire! Still haven't found that thing of lore about Olivia yet. Hmm. I'll keep looking. I don't know how many of these clips I have filmed. Hey guys, I'm here and I've done this. And, uh, then I don't find anything. Piss off, you bother me. Okay. I turned to start recording here because I think it was around here that I walked straight past a log entry. God damn it. Fucking skeletons. Huh. 
not ideal. Hi. Missile pod. Totally rad. This thing still has its uses. Such as. Actually, you know what? It was at this moment he knew he'd fucked up. Yeah, I think I found it, you guys. Sorry about that. Let's see what it says. Mancubus. There's one. Okay, the missing entry for Mancubus. Mancubi have taken their disgusting physical condition and turned it into a weapon. As they reach maturity, a chitinous growth begins to form over each hand, creating a hard-shelled barrier. As the flesh inside decomposes, a noxious effluvium begins to leak from the barrel. <clears throat> I should not have been eating just before I started recording. The Mancubus can spew this uh, discharge from the barrel over a remarkable distance. The volatile goo ignites under the tremendous pressure, creating a highly effective biomechanical flamethrower. Hmm. I can honestly say I did not expect that. They naturally develop this way? They just naturally develop flamethrower hands? There you go. Well, then you can naturally go to hell. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, there it is. What's up with the moon, anyway? I mean, we're in hell. It's not a planet. It's just a bunch of shit sort of chained together. Does it revolve around anything? Is it just there? Did they steal a... No, no, I guess that, that wouldn't be it, because it's a reboot. I was just suddenly realizing that part of the plotline of the original Doom did indeed involve Hell stealing a moon. Uh... So Doom 1 never actually went to Mars. It took place on the on the moons of Mars and in Hell. Episode 1 was set on Phobos. Episode 2 was set on Deimos. And Episode 3 is on the surface of Hell itself. And I mention this because... According to the text log that you get with the game, like the text file, I should say... As soon as the outbreak... as the, uh... As the invasion started. Damn it. Ah. That made me feel better. Completely unnecessary, but it made me feel better. And I used up one chit, so, uh. So, yeah. So the second the invasion started in OG Doom, all contact was lost with Phobos, and Deimos literally vanished from the sky. So at the end of the Shores of Hell, you realize, after defeating the Cyber Demon, that Phobos is literally floating over the surface of Hell. Or that Deimos is, rather. And in his conquest against the blackened souls of the doomed, his prowess was shown. In his crusade, the Seraphim bestowed upon him terrible power and speed, and with his might, Hell yes. he crushed the obsidian pillars of the blood temples. He set forth without pity upon the beasts of the nine circles, unbreakable, incorruptible, unyielding, the Doom Slayer. Sought to end the dominion of the Dark Realm.
just trying to see where the beginning of the level is. Okay, so if that's there, then... Huh. It seems like I have gotten in there, I just don't remember doing it. That's weird. Anyone else think that's weird? I think that's weird. Don't mind me, I'm just tar I'm just farming. I never noticed this glowing skull here. I like that. Like that one's still possessing his own skull and he's pissed off about it. But there's the timer, I guess. So I should fall finally call an end to this ill-begotten episode. I'm just really annoyed I never found the, uh... Olivia lore. Oh! Dude! That's the one! Right in front of me! Like, there's literally a point in the video in the video where I pause, like, right here, and then keep going. So I'm gonna grab this and then end the video there. Olivia Pierce! Here's what we should have started with. Olivia Pierce is the head of biochemical research at the Argent facility. Educated at Strasbourg with a first-degree honors degree, or first-class honors degree in biomechanics and genetics, she joined her former mentor Samuel Hayden on Mars to head up the Lazarus Project. A few months after arriving at the Argent facility, Olivia was diagnosed with acute idiopathic scoliosis. The cause of this deformation is unknown, given the option of being permanently wheelchair-bound or undergoing an experimental augmentation procedure, Olivia chose the surgery. After several months in seclusion, Olivia reappeared on her feet with a new titanium exoskeleton grafted into her spinal column. Oh. She's not wearing armor at all, is she? Although the exoskeleton allows Olivia to stand and move on her own, it causes her excruciating pain. Olivia refuses any pain management medication for fear it will cloud her mind. I mean, I still don't approve of what she did. I don't see any way anyone could. But, uh... God damn it, now suddenly I think I understand why she did what she did. Um... On that remarkably cheery note, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Doom when we get back on track. Later.